In today's video, let's go over how to lift pin and cut wear for MQB dashboard NEC3525. We can get the emo data from the dashboard through lifting pin or cutting PCB wear. Remove the needles using tweezer and take out the PCB board. Now, Kito Plus and Vividia Proc all provide corresponding connecting diagrams. We enter the option and find the diagram needed. Method 1. Lift pin. Apply some scaling powder onto the pen while lift later. Prepare a hot air gun, turn the temperature to 355 degrees Celsius and adjust to the lowest speed. Direct the gun to the pen and insert the operating knife under the pen and lift it slightly up when the pen is heated properly. Note. Don't lift up too much, just make sure the pin disconnects from the PCB, otherwise it may lead to pin breaking. When the pin disconnects from the board, solder a wear or enamel wear to the pin so we can connect the MCU cable later. Hold the wear in place with tape and do not move it. Ok, now we have finished the pin lifting. Next, we'll follow the connecting diagram and solder the MCU cable to read the dashboard data. After getting the data out, restore the chip pin. Press the pin gently with the tweezer. Solder the pin back using a soldering iron. Method 2. Cut PCB wear. Flip the PCB board and locate the position where we'll need to cut the wear. Now we'll cut the wear following the instructions till FADD hole makes no conduction with the adjacent capacitor. Be careful not to bump into any capacitors nearby when cutting. After the cutting, we'll test whether the FADD has disconnected from other points using a multimeter. After that, we'll solder the MCU cable onto the PCB board following the diagram. Then you're ready to go and read the MQB dashboard data. After reading, restore the PCB board. That wraps things up for us today. Do not forget to follow us because we are having upcoming videos showing the cutting wear process of 3526 and 3532 dashboard. See ya!